guys, so today I'm going to be filming my birthday haul video, which I'm really, really excited to film. I'm actually filming on my iPhone at the moment, as my camera takes a really long time to charge, and I just want to kind of got a spare few, like, uh, minutes and stuff, so I just want to want to do this now. Um, so I'm really sorry the quality is not as good as normal, but I do kind of like the quality on here. Uh, and sorry if I keep looking at myself on the screen, because it's really hard, because obviously there's a massive screen in front of me, rather than just a small one that I normally have. This um, birthday haul is going to be slightly different. As you all know, my mum and dad uh, aren't together. And therefore, I'm going to do it in two separate things, but in one video. So halfway through this video, I will cut and I'll be in a different location. Just because then I have to move all of my stuff that I got for my birthday from my dad to my mum's and vice versa. Um, so I'm at my mum's at the moment, and I'm just going to show you what I got here. There's some things here that are from my dad's. And there's also some quite a lot of stuff that mum brought me at my dad's because it's mostly clothes. Also, my mum is organising my birthday party. I'm having a huge party at the end of the month with uh, all of my friends and family and everyone. Um, so she's organising that and she's paid for all of that and stuff. So that's probably my main present for my mum. Um, and then I've got kind of this stuff. So I will get on to show you it. I also just quickly want to say um, I'm not bragging. Blah, blah, blah. The whole speech that everyone always gives. This video is my most requested video as always. And... Yeah, so that's it. So I'm going to start with a few beauty things. Now, one of the first things that my mum got me, or, you know, one of the things that my mum got me, was this. And this is a really nice Ted Baker makeup bag. It just looks like this. And she put tissue paper all in it. And inside she's put loads of minis of, like, stuff that I use. So I've got Aussie Miracle Moist, some deodorant. Got some uh, L'Oreal Elnet. Got some uh, Charles Wellington Body Booster Mousse. We've got some Batiste in here, uh, loads of little bits, some Sanctuary Illuminating Moisture Lotion, some little face wipes, and then we've got uh, some toothpaste, bits and bobs like that. Basically, she did it because um, when we go away or when we do anything, um, it's kind of nice to just have a bag that you can just take with you, you don't have to get all your big things out, blah blah blah. So yeah, that's just what it looks like, and I really really love it, I think it's such a good idea. So, yes, that's one of the first ones she got me, but I think I might transfer the bag, because I absolutely love this uh, makeup bag. So, I think I'm going to use this on a regular basis. And then, the other beauty thing that she got me for my birthday was the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is the smaller version, which is still really expensive. Um, I asked for this, I really, really wanted it for my birthday. I just heard so much about it, and the new formula had just come out, and I just thought, you know what, I really, really like this for my birthday. So, yes, I asked for this, and I got it, luckily enough. Um, I, you know, I'm really appreciative of it because it's a lot of money and people that aren't really into beauty don't really understand why you want to spend 40 quid on something like this. Um, so anyway, I get my John Lewis discount on top of that on my mum does because she gets a, a card as well. And they also had 10% off as well at the same time. So it, got, it came down a little bit cheaper. Um, but yes, I absolutely love it. I've only been using it for, what, five days-ish? And it's already amazing. It's already made massive changes to my skin. So I absolutely love that. I just thought I'd show you a few things that I picked up uh, just when I was in Boots earlier, uh, just because I just thought I would, because um, this is with my birthday money. The first thing is the Lasting Finish by Kate Moss Lipstick in number 5. I've actually got this on now and I really like it. I haven't actually found any of the Kate Moss ones that I like so far, but I really like this. It's coming up a bit brighter on the camera, uh, but yeah, it's lovely and it tastes of sweets. And then the other thing I picked up is the L'Oreal Nude Magic uh, BB Concealer. This is anti-dark surface. I've actually got it on now. I tried it when I got home. Um, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of good. It gives you quite got a lot of coverage for one of these rollable things. So, yes, no really opinions on that yet. And one thing that I did purchase when I got my money for my birthday is uh, this. This is the YSL Youth Liberator Serum Foundation. Uh, it just came in the post today. I just picked it up from Waitress with a click and collect from John Lewis. And oh my god, I've tried it for the first time today on my face and it is amazing. Not joking, it's just, oh my god. I would totally recommend it if you are looking for any kind of foundation. You know, it's just amazing. I haven't tried it for an entire day yet, but I've tried it for like, I don't know, an hour and it's just perfect. Finish is amazing, the way it goes on is amazing, the coverage is amazing, everything about it is amazing. And... I can't even wait about it enough. So if you're looking for a foundation, or if you're not looking for a foundation, if you just want a foundation, get this one. It's so good. And mine is in the colour B30. And I actually had a guess online, and this is the colour that I got. So it kind of matches quite well, I think. So, yes, absolutely loving it. And I really like the packaging as well. 
Um, one thing that Bradley's mum and dad got me is a Chanel Rouge Coco uh, lipstick in the colour 10, which is Camella, I think. I actually mentioned this to Bradley uh, quite a while ago, and he actually remembered, which is very impressive. I didn't even remember. And it's just this colour here. I think it's... Sorry about this massive stamp. <laughs> Should have explained that before. Um, someone stamped me on my hand at school. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really pretty everyday colour. Uh, the one I've got from Chanel, another rouge colour that I've got, it's actually more of a berry colour. It's number 17. It's like orchid or something like that. Um, and it's more of a berry colour. So I wanted another Chanel one that I can wear on an everyday basis. And that is a lovely, lovely colour. Now I just thought I'd show you some necklaces that my mum got me. I absolutely love necklaces, especially statement necklaces. And as you were to see, all of these are pretty much statement necklaces. This is the first one, and this is just what it looks like. It's from Primark, and it was only £8. The reason why I know all this stuff is because I went shopping with my mum for my birthday presents um, to choose for the bits and bobs. Another necklace that I got is this one, which uh, is from New Look. And this looks like this. I can't, I don't know if I can put it around. I'm not going to bother trying. Um, it's just like black and gold and it's really pretty and it's a nice statement necklace. And then next one is this one which, I don't know, just really interests me. And every single time I saw it, I really, really liked it. I think it would be really nice with a high neck, like white top. Um, yeah, it's just really, really pretty. And that was from New Look as well. And this one I think was from Primark. And that's just what it looks like. Um, really, really nice statement necklaces. I think they're just all so, so pretty. I've also got a bit of a thing for shoes at the moment. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is one that I've actually bought myself. Um, I didn't know if anyone was going to get me them for my birthday, so I didn't want to get them before that. Um, but, yes, no one got me them. Everyone got me different pairs of shoes. So I've actually picked these up by myself. And this is what they look like. They are floral tartan, like, they're not really like a, kind of like a brogue shape, I, I suppose. They haven't really got, like, brogue things on them, though. Um, they're so, so pretty. They just look like this, like a tapestry kind of, like... Um, floral thing they're from shoe and they were actually 40 pounds which for the feel of these shoes doesn't really feel worth 40 pounds um like it's not leather or you know the shoe the, even the sole isn't leather nothing like that so i don't really understand why they were 40 but i kind of there is a lot of work gone into the tapestry of the shoe and they're so so pretty i haven't actually worn them out yet because i only got them today they were only delivered today um but yes i absolutely love these and i'm just so obsessed with shoes at the moment so my mum got me two pairs of shoes for my birthday and the first pair um, is one that I actually wore today with this outfit. And these are like this. These are from Topshop. I don't remember the name. I will put it like here in the video. But this is what they look like. They've got like a cutout uh, on both sides as you can see. Um, and then like a little gold buckle. I really, 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 really like them. And then just they've got like a little heel. Um, I think the other ones, which are the, the Allegra's. Allegra's? Does that sound right? You know the other ones, the ones with the cutouts, I think they had two cutouts. Uh, I absolutely loved those, um, but they actually changed the shoe to become like number two of the shoe. And it was a lot more chunky and just a lot more not me. Um, so I did try them on, but they were just too chunky. But I did want a cutout shoe, and I found these ones, I thought these were absolutely lovely. So yes, really, really happy with these, and I wore them today. And then the last pair of shoes that my mum got me were these ones from Zara. Oh, those Topshop ones were 45, I think. Um, yes, these ones are from Zara, and this is just what they look like. They are painted black brogues, and I could not even tell you how long I've wanted a pair of painted black brogues for. I just think they are so, so cute. Uh, this is what they look like. They've got, like, cute little laces, and there's, like, a little heel. These were from Zara, and these were £40. And then um, a few clothes that my mum got me, I'll just show you now. Uh, some of the clothes that my mum got me are actually at my dad's, so I'll show you those in the next part of the video if you understand what I mean but the first thing which I absolutely love is this top here from Miss Selfridge uh, it looks like this and it's like a kind of a uh, embellishment top uh, it's absolutely beautiful it's got like blue bits going all the way around and it's also got them going down here and at the bottom it buttons all the way down here and then at the bottom here it kind of opens up uh, it's just the prettiest top in the world. I actually wore this on my birthday because I thought it was like a really like wow top to wear on my birthday. I absolutely love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Next thing I absolutely love as well. These are a pair of trousers from Topshop. And they just look like this. They've got like a floral um, kind of print on them. They're um, kind of embossed. Not embossed, but the print like comes off of the trousers as you can see. Uh, they are so, so nice. They're just black. I absolutely love black trousers with bits on it. Um, so this is what they look like. She also got me a pair of... Um, the other top top uh, trousers, they're like a crocodile print and they're velvet, but I'll show you those again in the next part of the video as they're at my dad's. Um, and the next thing is this top, and it's got a little Peter Pan collar. This is from Miss Selfridge, and this was £27, as there is a tag here. 
Uh, this is just what it looks like. It's so pretty. I haven't actually worn this one yet, so I think I'm going to wear it in the next few days, but I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. Another top that I got, which um, actually is kind of a more of a casual top, to be honest, and this is from New Look. It just looks like this. But it looks nice to me. I've like a pair of black leggings and like a wild pair of shoes. It just looks like this. And, oh, it doesn't say the price on it, but I think it was rather cheap. You know, it's from New Look. Probably like £7 or something. And yeah, it's just a pretty top. This one I absolutely love and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a green top from Topshop. I really like the cut of this top and I was thinking of wearing this tomorrow with the tartan shoes and the and my just plain black jeans because uh, I thought it would look really pretty. Really, really like this. It's got a little zip at the back and on the tag, I think, the tag's still here, it says £22. When we got to the tag, it was £16. Um, so, yeah, bargain. It's a really, really nice cut. Absolutely love it. And then... Just got a few of these strappy tops from New Look. This is the first one. It's like a metallic kind of blue colour. Um, I don't know the price. I think they're $9.99. Got this one and also a purple one. But again, that's for my dad. So I'll have to show you that another time. And that's everything really from my mum's that I've got here. Um, but as I said, she is also doing the party. And um, the others have set my dad's, which mum got me. But I won't go explaining who got what. I'll just show you. Um, but one of my most exciting presents, or probably the most exciting present, is what Bradley got me. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know this. If not, I'll leave the link down below, and you guys go follow me. I post lots of pictures. Um, and he got me the Michael Kors Selma bag. Just looks like this. It's absolutely beautiful. I will be doing a uh, what's in my bag video with it, um, but I actually haven't used it enough. Like, I've only had it for five days. I haven't used it enough to have all like the rubbish in it that you get in a bag when you use it if you understand what I mean and that's the whole point of a what's in my bag video to kind of get the bits of us and be like oh I didn't realise this was in it um, so I thought I would show you that when I've actually used it a bit more but I absolutely love it and oh I'm just so so happy as you can probably tell from my face uh, but this is what it looks like so um, as you probably know it's going to switch now to the video um, stuff from where I got my dad's so yeah thank you for watching this part and I'll see you in a sec so I'm now at my dad's, so this is the second part of the birthday haul in the same video, which is really weird as they're like three days apart, but it's cool, let's just get on with it. So basically, my dad mostly got me clothes as well, um, so I just thought I'd show you everything that I've got here. Um, not going to go through it in any particular order, as you can probably tell, my cold has got worse from the first day of the video, um, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so this is the first thing. I haven't actually worn this yet. It's just like a little blouse and it's got this kind of like pattern on it. It's black and white. I just think it would look really pretty just with a pair of really nice trousers and a blazer. It was £12.99 from H&M. And yeah, I just thought it was a really, really pretty blouse. Nice and flowy and it has little cute sleeves. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm saying oh, I got this because blah, 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 blah. It's because I actually chose the clothes that I got for my birthday. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next thing was also from H&M, and I haven't worn this either, is kind of like this jacket. It's kind of like the same shape as this, but this one's from H&M as well. It's kind of like the same shape as this, and I've been really liking these kind of jackets to wear with just kind of plain um, cami tops at the moment. And uh, this one looks like this. And this one's kind of more of a woolly texture. It's got kind of loads of different colours in it. Um, it's got shoulder pads in this one, whereas it hasn't in this one. And this was £29.99 from H&M. And uh, that's just what it looks like. It was actually really lucky because I went to H&M in Birmingham like a week before and I saw it and I thought, I'm not going to get it, I'll wait until I go shopping for stuff for my birthday and I'll ask for it then. Anyway, I went back and it wasn't there and the woman was like, I think it's been taken off the shelf. I was like, oh my goodness, and it was awful. And then luckily I found one in the kind of like last chance to buy bit, so that was really cool. And luckily it was in my size as well. So the next thing is this dress from Topshop, which although it hasn't got the tag on, I actually haven't worn yet. Uh, it just looks like this. It's got a really kind of, it looks like it's a really like plunge neckline, but it's not when you put it on. So it looks like that, and it's obviously the same at the back. And it's like a lace print, and it's just got kind of black and kind of normal coloured flowers on it. It's not necessarily something that I would pick normally. Um, so I'm not really too sure why I did pick it, but I think it looked really nice when I tried it on. Um, I think it looked nice with a pair of my nice, my nice black boots that I got in the earlier part of this haul and um, some tights and my coat that I'm about to show you in a bit. I said this was going to be a random order and it is. This one's from Zara and it just looks like this. 
um, it's a tartan um, coloured blouse or pattern blouse. Um, I really like tartan at the moment. It's kind of like the in trend, um, as the majority of you probably know. And it just comes down like this, and it's got like um, like frilly sleeves. I just thought it looked nice. You could pair this with a skirt, or I've actually got a, a dress that I'll show you in a second that I think it would look really nice under. Um, you could also just pair it with a nice pair of trousers, one of the pairs that I sh showed earlier in the video. So I thought I'd look really nice. And uh, something else that I also got from Zara is the top that I was wearing in the first part of this haul. And I absolutely love that. It's like a floral kind of print. And it was just absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is my probably my favourite thing that I've got for, like, clothes-wise for a long, long time. And is this top from Topshop. It's a velvet top like this. And it's got fringing at the bottom. It is just beautiful. And I love the colour. It's kind of like this. It's kind of a greeny kind of brown colour. Um, and it's got this kind of print on it. Don't know what kind of print it is, but it's got that print on it. Looks like this. Kind of long-ish, like t-shirt sleeves. Comes down and it's got fringing at the bottom. But it's not a crop top. I'm going to stress that. It's not a crop top. It comes down to a normal length and then the fringing is below the normal length, if you understand what I mean. Um, I absolutely love this. It just looks so nice. And I've worn it, I've worn it twice already since my birthday, which was last week. And um, I just think it looks so pretty. And I've been wearing it with a nice pattern pair of trousers. And um, some nice shoes, and I just think it really spiced up an outfit with a massive necklace, and I really, really liked it. So, yes, big thumbs up to that. And if you know you see it anywhere, I'd really recommend getting it because it's a really nice piece. Uh, this one is actually from my mum's, from what my mum got me, but it's actually at my dad's. And it still has a tag on it, but I have actually worn it. Um, it's because it's a skirt, the tag was just inside, um, so I didn't bother taking it off. And it's this tulip skirt from New Look, which is really, really nice. Looks like this and this was 19.99 you wouldn't do it as well why they kept the prices on again it's because i chose the clothes and i knew them anyway so um and it's just what it looks like it's so so pretty it's a little bit big for me i think that is why i kept the tag on um but i just put a belt around it and it just kind of cinched it in a bit more and actually make it look like more of a paper bag skirt so it was really nice um, also, my mum got me this cami top as well. Um, I mentioned earlier on in the haul that I was going to show you the other one, so that's the other one. Um, this is also one of my favourite things because it is such a versatile piece. It's this uh, pinafore type dress from Topshop. So it looks like this. Oh, sorry, there's sense coming out. Down the sides, it's just open. It's kind of like this. And then it comes down into a really nice full skirt at the bottom. It was quite expensive. It was £45. Um, but f I think for like a signature piece like this, I think it's okay to it to be that much, if you know what I mean. I probably wouldn't pay it if I was buying it, but because I got it for my birthday, it's kind of different. Um, and I actually got a tartan shirt to go underneath. It's a sleeveless tartan shirt to go underneath. But that's in the wash, so I can't really show you that. I'll make sure I do like an outfit of the day or something with, with it um, in the next few weeks. But yeah, I really, really like this. And it's really nice and versatile to wear like, loads of things underneath it. Like I could have worn, worn that tartan blouse that I showed you earlier. Or I could wear the velvet top. Like there's so many things you can wear underneath it. And it's just a really, really pretty um, dress. Another thing is this scarf. And this is from H&M. Um, I do like this, but I prefer the tartan side to the floral side. So I have to kind of try and get the tartan side on show and not the floral side. Uh, but it just looks like this. It's kind of a, whatever you call it, a loop scarf or a, totally forgot, the, a snood. So, yes, it's one of these and I really, really like it. I think it's lovely. Just something that someone else bought me. Uh, Bradley's grandma and granddad got me this, which is a really, really pretty bracelet. And it says, believe in yourself on it. I'll just show you. It's really pretty, and I think it's just so nice. I've been wearing it with my other uh, piece of jewellery on my wrist at the moment. I just sort of take it off and show. You. Oh my god, the lighting is so bad. Right, I'm hoping the lighting is a bit better now. It's been absolutely dreadful, like in and out, in and out. And I have those like Venetian blinds that have like lines on them, um, that go like down that way. If you know what I mean, like like this. Uh, so it like puts lines everywhere. Anyway, my biggest present from my dad and the most amazing present in the world, um, is this coat this coat is from Topshop it just looks like this um, it's kind of really really hard to show it's a really big coat it's a camel color uh, oh, it just has long sleeves and then it's got these uh, really nice buttons and like this comes over like this and it is quite long but I absolutely love it I can't even explain to you I've been wearing it all the time just this and that scarf with a Michael Kors bag 
and I just think that looks amazing um, and um, I just absolutely love it it's been so so good to wear and um, it's so I think it's so nice to have a really nice staple coat for in the winter um, or autumn winter because it doesn't matter what you've got underneath it's the coat um, so it's really nice to have a nice staple coat and I haven't got a good coat for quite a while so this was £95 from Topshop but I absolutely love it so yes now I've left some of the things downstairs so I'm just going to run down and get them Right, now I've got the thing from downstairs, I just thought I'd show you it, it took ages to find because we have a shoe clip downstairs and all people's shoes are in it and they're really annoying uh, but I got these pair of shoes for my dad which I absolutely love, I can't even explain to you they're uh, these velvet shoes from Topshop, they are absolutely stunning they're like a brown kind of velvet uh, with a heel the heel is actually quite high for me um, but I don't know, I just really like the fact that it's got some height to it and I feel really tall when I wear them because I'm actually five foot two, so I'm really small. Um, <laughs> but this is basically just the shoe. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. They were £52 from Topshop and they're so, so comfy. They're just amazing. Obviously, don't wear them in the rain, but they're just absolutely beautiful and I cannot explain to you how much I love them. A few of the things I've just remembered to show you uh, while I went downstairs is just a few of the things that people have got me and I just like forgot to mention them kind of thing. Um, so the first thing, Bradley also got me a vanilla chai candle, uh, a Yankee candle, and I wanted this one for ages and it's absolutely amazing. I've burnt it so much and what I really like about going Yankee candles is they don't go down very much at all. They burn like really, really slowly and now I've got a quite a big collection of Yan Yankee candles. Um, but I just absolutely love it, it's amazing. I don't know if it says the scents on here. Uh, no, it doesn't say the notes. Sorry, not really good at explaining. But vanilla chai is not really that hard to explain. It's literally like vanilla chai. Um, and yes, absolutely love this, been burning it loads. And then I also really, really wanted the candy corn candle from Yankee Candle. Um, and after my birthday, I was like, right, okay, I'll go and buy it with my birthday money. And you can only get this massive version. Um, in my Clintons, you can't get like a small, like you can't, I wanted it in this size, but you can't get them in any smaller ones. It's a really, really cool uh, tin though, it's got like loads of Halloween y stuff around it. Uh, but it's going to take so long to burn, I'm not going to want Halloween up in my room like at Christmas, it's kind of annoying. Um, but it's just amazing, it's such a sweet s smell. Obviously, if you're in America and you have candy corn, then you'll know what it smells like anyway. But it's just such a sweet and nice smell, I really, really like it. So love these two and i've been burning them lots another thing again i'm really sorry this is in random order another thing that i've got is this which uh, my grandma actually made me and uh, my grandma is really into her pottery since she retired like a few years ago she's been really into making pottery pottery and she was a pottery class and whatever and um she's made me a lot of things got a lot of vases around my room that she's made me but this is just absolutely amazing so she made this herself this rope thing here and if you look at it it's so amazing in the back like it's really really nicely done and then she's made all of these flowers herself like the poppies and all of these different things around and i'm gonna hang it up in my room like this and yeah really lovely and i cannot believe that she even made it, it looks good just looks so professional and I'm so proud of her, bless her. So, yes. And I'm just going to go on to some things that my friends got me. Um, so, the first one is this. And one of my friends uh, got me this. It's kind of like, not like a Joker present, but they got me this. And um, it's just a champagne glass with 18 on it. So, um, they were like, should we get her a shot glass or a champagne glass? They're like, champagne. <laughs> I'm not really that much of a drinker. So, to get me a uh, shot glass would be kind of different. But my main present from some of my friends uh, was my nomination bracelet. They got me a nomination bracelet. One of my friends got me the actual bracelet and oh, this charm here, the dangly one. And then another friend um, got me this charm here with a birthday cake. And I absolutely love it. I've already got a Pandora, so they look really nice together. Um, so they just look lovely together like this. But yeah, absolutely love it. I didn't have one before. All of my friends have nomination bracelets. So I'm like, oh, we'll get this one to enjoy them with the group. <laughs> Um, and then the majority of things otherwise are just chocolates. So I got a Happy 18th Jess um, champagne bottle thing. I got some macaroons. I got some Thornton Smiles, which are like my favourite chocolate ever. Um, roses, and I got some more Thornton chocolate. And one of the things that my friends bought, one of my one of the things that one of my friends bought me was this. And it's like, it says, now you're 18, you can buy all the drinks, love, from me. And I really like it. It's got my, I've got it on my side next to my bed. And then she also, the same girl that got me that, also got me this. It's really, really pretty. I think it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to hang this up in my room, maybe like in the uh, middle of my 
windows because obviously then the light will shine through but yeah really really pretty and the last thing and i promise this is the last thing is this and bradley got me a photo frame with photos of all of us in it which is really really cute so this is the first sorry that it's like reflecting back this is the first one of me and bradley here i remember one of bradley bradley and my brother me and bradley this is one when we like first got together or like the first year when we were together this one and this is the prom so these two were on no, that was when we were on holiday that was at bradley's house that was dad and nikki's wedding that was my auntie's party when we first got together. This was in the snow and this was at prom. So nice little kind of memorabilia for our relationship and it's really, really cute. I really like the frame as well. It's a really nice size. So yes, right, really, really sorry this video, video has been so, so long and it's been so rambly and just everywhere. So I'm really sorry, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I've got a party coming up on the 26th of October. It's my 18th party. Uh, that I am having so I'm planning on doing a little video and um, kind of just like a video where I'm going to be just be going around with the camera taking snippets of the night and just putting my music over the top when I edit it I just thought it'd be a nice video to have and a nice memorabilia for me as well when I look back um, so or I'll just do a slideshow of pictures I'm not too sure but I'm really really excited for that and I'll try and do a get ready, get ready with me for it or otherwise I'll replicate the look that I did um, and I'll also try and show you my dress for the party um, as I love it but uh, currently it's in the alterations lady person in town. So thank you very much for watching guys, uh, I really really appreciate it. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.